Okay, this is Wargroove, and I'm joined by Pack Billy, and I'm a dog. Hello. Yes. So. Hello, dog. <laughs> Hello. Hey, dog. Um, yeah, so I played a little bit of this on my channel. If you're coming from there, then you know how this game works a little bit. And if you don't, if you haven't seen that, then, uh, well, it's a turn based. Uh, it's a bit like. What's the game you said? Advance Wars. Yeah. Advance Wars. Yeah. And. So it's my turn. Why do I have... I don't have any barracks. Oh, there's the barracks. Okay. Oops. So... Oh, wow. Yeah. So I've, I've played, like, through the, the first couple missions in a, basically a tutorial, and there's a lot more <laughs> units than I'm used to. So let's just try something. Something I know. Oh, I'm way down here. Yeah. So we've got a quite big map, so it'll be a while before we find each other. Is there a way to scroll without going to the edge of the map? I mean, so you're on Twitch, on Twitch, on Switch, and I'm on. Yeah, Steam. on Switch, I can just move the right stick. Yeah, or maybe I can. Oh, I can't even use the arrow keys. This is more, this is optimized for for a, for a gamepad. Anyway, I'm going to end my turn so you can. Ah, stop it. Yeah. Yes. I should have moved my units. Really. Can I use the? Oh, I can use the game controller as well. Okay. So this game is construction complete. <laughs> you must construct a const uh, pff, words. You must construct additional pylons. Red team has the flag. Warriors Which shot the nothing. food. <laughs> why is there a? Why is one of your houses right smack in the middle oh, of yeah. my Oh that's, yeah, that's business uh, here. Yeah, I didn't even see that. All so, right. So this game is gorgeous. It's beautifully. It's beautifully done. Yeah. I think the, the word you will often use to describe this is charming. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. That's the exact word I would have used. Oh, I didn't even notice I had units down here. I've got all oh, this I've got a little stuff. boat. Oh. Hey, I think we can we can do a boat fight. No, oh, wow. I'm, I, I think that's just a transport ship. Okay. we got little boats, though. Yeah. So get ready for boat, this boat is action. Really, like, it's really important to have good naval connections on, on this lake. This tiny lake. Yeah. Look at the birds and the wind and the trees. It's nice. Well, I've got to pay more attention because I didn't. I didn't do anything with what I had. Let's get a battle pup into the <laughs> fray. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea <laughs> how to end my turn. Uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you because I'm using a mouse. Plus. End turn. There we go. Okay. Cool. Are you sure you want to end your turn? Yeah. Why shouldn't I? Does it tell you if you have moves left? I think it it will automatically end your turn if you've done everything. So I think it's because your boat wasn't uh, doing anything. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. So all these different units have different things that make them able to do critical hits. For example, the pikemen do critical hits when they are next to another pikeman. The soldiers do a critical hit when they're next to the commander, which is this dog. Um, let's see. <laughs> He's Queen Mer <laughs> Mercy's dog. orders from a dog. <laughs> yeah. I love the description. He's Queen Mercy's dog, a cherry stone general, and a very, very good boy. I wish they'd put 13 <laughs> out of 10 there. That would have been perfect. Yeah, and so it lists all the... Um, like what? What? What is effective against what? So it's like a rock paper scissors thing, but more like rock paper lizard, rock paper scissors lizard Spock type situation, which was not invented by the Big Bang Theory. They just popularized it. So critical hit when another dog is adjacent to the target. Okay. Oh, a but wagon. It's also. You know, there's also dice rolls involved, I think. I don't think it's just straight up um, rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, I think it's to some extent, but a large amount of it is determined by... Oh, ballista. Oh, man. You know what? We have these little towers, these little mage towers that we're not using. Oh, where are they? Oh, yeah. I think you can get some flying units out of it. <gasps> air yeah. units. Oh, wow. Yeah, a hot yeah. air balloon. I shouldn't have even... I should have waited <gasps> until yeah. till it was my turn. Oh wow! There's a witch on a on a on a balloon on a on a stick on stick a, with a furry a end. Bra uh, broom. That's what it's called. Yeah. Broom. Oh wow. Two thousand. 
a dragon rider. <gasps> so you're the up, you, you're the same faction as me, aren't you? So yeah, we we'll have the same units. Right, because there's there's two factions as far as I am aware. I think there's four. Oh, okay. I mean, See, yeah, yeah, I've hardly, I've hardly played this. There's like some some uh, tree people and some elfy people and some okay. like yeah. evil people. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, let's see, what's your move range? Four. Yeah, so I can hover over you to see your move range. Oh man, those uh, harpies are... I've not... So how far have you played this? In the single player? Uh, I think I've only played like two or three missions. Okay, that's about the same as me then. But you've and played some multiplayer as well. Yeah, I played List Vendor uh, cool. in a, a couple games. I think we're like tied up as far as that goes, like one to one. Oh dear. So if you lose your commander, you, you've lost, right? Yes. Or your yep. stronghold, which is, I think, this thing here. Look at the little soldier boys with their cute little idle animation. They're so idle, but so ready. If so my guys are, one of my guys is facing the wrong way. Yeah. He's got his back to the enemy. Oh no, it's a flapper. <laughs> I'm not from the 20s. Oh, you're going after my village that is inexplicably next to your stronghold. That's a good idea, actually. Oh, do I have an Yeah, I do. I have an equivalent one right up here. I'm really annoyed that you can't do middle mouse scrolling across the map. That's like... It really seems like this This was designed with console in mind first. It even looks like a console game. I mean, it's like it's inspired by Advance Wars, so... Yeah, yeah, it's definitely... Um, showing its console roots there. Yeah. All right, um, let's go with another pikeman. What effect Oop, does the weather have? I put him in the woods. I didn't mean to put him in the woods. Um, who knows? Could just be aesthetics. Yeah, I don't know. It's got like a little, like under under the turn marker, under your face. It's got like a little weather indicator. It was. It must. Be, it must be for something. Because um, this game has a lot more strategic depth than you might think from the cutesy aesthetic, you know. Yeah. I was one. I wasn't sure it would have that much when I first looked at it. Cause well, you don't have to worry because I don't have that depth <laughs> myself <laughs> as a player. Right. Yeah. This is this is the, the the epic grudge match of two people who don't know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So really open to attack up here so I'm gonna do it and these animations are great oh wow you're at like 1% strength there you know even though it shows you the a number of units it doesn't actually like the strength is represented more granularly than more I don't know what I'm trying to say like the strength of a unit is, a, is in percentage in reality, the visual indicator of um, how many soldiers there are is just a, just that, just a visual. Well, it yeah, it's a rough approximation, sort of. But yeah. the, I mean, that guy's barely alive. Yeah. He's just, he's just having a bad day. Okay, is there anything else? I think I'm done. So yeah, in the in the campaign, these two are like allies. This is this is the main character. This, it's her dog. Yeah, it's her dog. Her dog has yeah. I'm thinking maybe the weather affects visibility for ranged units. That would make sense. Oh man, uh, this is a loss. This is hopeless. Oh, here we go. Let's, <laughs> let's activate. Well, you, some, you've, uh, you're giving up already. Yep. <laughs> oh. Is this Pike Boy? Pike Boy can't do anything. Not since he got in that chair. Captain Pike, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I have been watching Strange New Worlds, you know, the prequel that has Captain Pike at the helm of the Enterprise. And I can't decide if I like it or not. It's better than other recent Star Trek stuff but uh, it's still still not quite what I want out of Star Trek but I think I'm just too old now 
I'm just like uh, this, this, this. That seems to be the general consensus. Which that I'm too old. Well, that um. <laughs> hey yeah, hey yeah. Oh no! Pow 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 pow. Um. How can she capture? She doesn't really have. She has a big sword. She can leave. Well, I think it just sort of turns it to your. That's a village, right? Oh. So that's just that's not a barracks. That's just um. Like you can you can recharge your units from those, and they get you income. Horsey boy can't capture. No. What were you saying? Is um, the general consensus. Can you remind me what I was talking about? We were talking about Star Trek: Strange New Worlds. Oh, it's that. Yeah, that. It's just never going to be. No. What it was. I haven't. I haven't watched the Red Letter Media guys. Haven't. I don't think they've commented on this. No, yet, they. So. And they should, because I think it's closer to what, to what old. I don't know what I don't know what to think unless they tell me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna watch it. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's just. Oh boy. I really need to come help this Billy out down here. Uh, let's get this boy down here. Oh. And Oh man. Yeah. The attackers have a natural advantage. I think because I'm on grassland and you're on road, I'm more it's slightly more slightly more defense on a on a grassland. So it's one one defense on a grassland and zero defense on a road. It's three oh, on a forest. I see. Uh, yeah, that grass sure is. Yeah. Like you can hide in it. <laughs> <laughs> So the, the bit above the unit when I'm hovering there tells me basically how much damage I'll do and how much damage I'll receive. So this one tells me I'll I'll kill them, so I'm going to do that. So if you, can, if you can kill them in the first hit, they don't even have a chance to counter-attack. So. And then a little ghost comes out. <laughs> this is such a yeah, thing. It's, it's genius. It's like the uh, the gravestone in, um, uh, what's it called, uh, Times of Law. You know, when you kill yes. someone. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The skeleton instant gravestone. Yeah. Yeah, well, first, yeah. Like, it, first you turn into a skeleton, and then you construct your own gravestone. Which, you know, is, is, is only appropriate. You're just pulling it down over you with your last right. sort yeah. of... Oh, can I not capture with the dog? Okay, that kind of makes sense. You should be I able can, to. I can capture. So why can't I capture this 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 village? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can. <laughs> he's just gonna run in there. He, he go good boy. Yes. Oh, he's so good. Yeah. And somehow a man appeared. <laughs> Let's join. Yeah. <laughs> capture more. Oh, I can attack you. Uh, oh, oh, I can use my harpy. That should be fun. Uh oh, here we go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the yeah, knight's gonna have a bad time. Oh, they're throwing shit. Oh, that's mean. You can't even attack back. <laughs> what a bastard I am. Here. Uh, go there. That way. So... How do you think this fight is going to go in the long run? Well, I don't like my chances <laughs> at, at this moment. Right. I don't like your chances either. But we'll see. Go well, if they're them. poor, then you should love love them. Oh, wow. There's a golem who's literally like a walking castle, like the like the rook. Oh, yeah. In, in, yeah. That's amazing. I brought him out against List Vendor one time. Cool. Let's have another knight. I like the knights. They're fast. I should be capturing this, this village here. There's a village right here. So I go to this board game club, and there's someone there in particular who takes way longer on his turns than anyone else when we're playing, you know, a competitive game. And I kind of think that's cheating because... 
you know, if everyone takes, if he takes twice as much time as anyone else to think about what he's doing, then he's got an advantage that the other people don't have. And we're, um, you know, we're only there for a certain number of hours. So if we all took that length of time, oh wow, oh fuck, you just ruined my harpies. It's cheating. What do you think? Well, let's hope so. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about like if someone takes longer on their turn, are they cheating? Uh, my, I have a friend that I play chess with, and he, oh, yeah. he takes forever. Yeah. I mean, absolutely forever. Longer than you do. Yes. And do you find that not in the spirit of fair play? Uh, no, I, I, I don't. The fair play thing doesn't matter. I just started enforcing a chess clock. Oh yeah, yeah. And he can lose on time now. So. Mm. How does that work? But so, like, if you just go over a certain time, you lose. Yeah. Oh wow. See, it, it seems to make. It seems to me it should be just like you have a turn time limit. You know, like. But then I guess you can't enforce that because you have to take a turn. You can't like skip your go in chess. Because in a lot of games there's a turn timer, and if you don't, you know, do your turn, you just you don't have a go, right? But you can't do that in chess because you have to you have to do a move. Yeah, right. And so the chess clock just it's you know you've got an hour. Each side maybe have has an hour, and yeah. you divide it up however you want. Right. The battle pup cannot capture. That's exactly what I said. It, right. The battle pup may not capture. But it is cute. Ah. Pew, 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 pew. Oh. Damn. Those are brutal against the knights. I don't have any defense against that. That's a problem. <laughs> Loading up the dog in the boat. Oh. Is this like that riddle where like there's a fox and a chicken and a bag of corn and you need to get it across? Do you know the one? It's exactly like that riddle, yeah, yes. Yeah. So the battle pup cannot uh, do anything really. Well, he can attack units. I thought it just a dog shows up at the boat and is like just gesturing towards the other side of the lake and the... You know, the boat guy's like, okay, I guess. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, he got a little note or a chat around yeah, his he's neck that note. says, like, this, this dog needs to go to the other side of the lake. <laughs> Just whatever the dog, like, if you are a store owner, feed the dog. Yeah. If you are a boat captain, take him to the other side of whatever body of water you happen to in. <laughs> yeah. Be nice and too. you know the dog has no the dog itself has no idea there's even a battle going on yeah 